It's a question on a lot of minds these days. Do you trust the Postal Service to play its part successfully in a mail-in election? I don't trust the mail. I'm going to vote in person. We've been doing it for years in Nevada, and I have no reason not to trust it. Just because everything going on right now with the Postal Service, it just doesn't seem like the safest bet. So we gave the USPS a test. We prepared 100 mock ballots, approximated their size and weight, put each one in a 6x9 envelope, then we paid for first class postage, the standard rate for election mail, and we set up a post office box to receive them. Then we hit the road. On Thursday, August 13th, we mailed the mock ballots from all over the Las Vegas Valley. Henderson, North Las Vegas, downtown, out to Blue Diamond. From neighborhood mailboxes, from apartment complexes, post office after post office, collection boxes throughout town. We even got some help from a postal worker out on his route. Thank you, sir. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, enjoy your day. One difference between our mock ballots and real ballots, our envelopes did not have the official election logo on them, a mark intended to expedite their delivery. The Postal Service recommends voters mail their ballots at least a week before they're due. All of ours were mailed out on a Thursday afternoon. We checked our P.O. box on Tuesday morning, August 18th, five days after we sent them out. All 100 mock ballots were there. 98, 99, 100. 100 ballots sent out and 100 ballots returned. I'm very confident that we're going to have a successful election uh, come November. Nevada Deputy Secretary of State for Elections Wayne Thorley says they plan to mail out about 1.7 million ballots to active registered voters for the November election. They go out to military and overseas voters in late September and out to all others in early October. He says he doesn't have a reason to doubt the Postal Service's ability to pull its weight. Well, we've got a very good relationship with the post office and, and the local representatives here in Nevada. For our primary election, we had uh, just under 500,000 ballots returned by mail uh, and, and didn't really see any issues outside of little one-off issues. And according to the Secretary of State's office, none of those issues involved potential voter fraud. Do you have confidence that the U.S. Postal Service will be able to handle the load? Yes, we do. Joe Gloria, the Clark County Registrar of Voters, shares Thorley's confidence and trust in the Postal Service. We've been using mail ballots, absentee ballots, for many years in Clark County, and we don't have any reservations as to the United States Post Office's ability to deliver. The Postal Service here in Southern Nevada handled and delivered all 100% of the mock ballots in our non-scientific test. But if you're still not so sure about the process, that's okay. While every active registered voter in Nevada will automatically get a ballot in the mail, it doesn't mean you can't vote in person or fill out your ballot and then go drop it off in person. Election officials say there will still be plenty of in-person voting opportunities. It's your choice how you want to vote. We're going to support both options uh, and make them available. In order for a mail ballot to be counted, Nevada law requires it be postmarked by election day. A retired postal worker of 36 years gave this advice to mail-in voters. Fill out your ballot once you get it, and don't wait to the last minute to return it. In Las Vegas, Max Darrow, News 3. Yeah, it is. It's cheap fun that keeps you out of the heat and inside for a movie. And AMC has a thorough cleaning plan in place to help keep moviegoers safe. They're going to have social distancing signs, auditoriums at 40% capacity, only select menu items to keep quicker service lines, and sanitizer stations available throughout. Masks will be required inside all AMC theaters during screenings, except for when you're eating and drinking. And if you forget your mask, they'll have some available for only a dollar. And AMC says every auditorium will be disinfected before each and every show. Common areas will be routinely sanitized and the air filters in the building have been upgraded to improve air quality. And one woman we spoke to says she feels safe going back to the theater. Theater. Frankly, in the front row, I rarely have anybody sitting around me, so I'm not too worried since I've got all the way to the screen of air I can breathe. To make people are healthy, and he wants to make sure people are safe, no matter at what cost, um, even if it meant his life. Crystal de Jesus Alvarado has a heavy heart following her brother Vincent's death. He was our guardian angel the family, the friends. Vincent's parents were both in the medical field. He followed their legacy and decided to do it in Las Vegas. He loved Las Vegas. He thought this was the greatest city ever, even though I tried to <laughs> tell him that there were other places. <laughs>
That love also translated to his patients and his coworkers. It's hard and it's sad and a lot of people are still going to be crying at work and still, you know, uh, you know, remembering him and honoring him. Xavier Norman, a respiratory therapist, says she and Vincent became friends on the job, a job that he took very seriously. He loved the community, he loved helping, and he loved patient care. He loved being a frontline worker. Vincent's death came just one day after the Service Employees International Union, Local 1107 HCA healthcare workers, delivered more than 400 forms to the state, citing lack of patient safety and unsafe working conditions during the coronavirus pandemic. Norman saying Vincent's death should serve as a reminder to protect frontline workers. I just feel like we already lost a valuable life and I don't want to take any risk to lose any more of the community or the frontline workers. And I just hope that this could be a wake up for the for the hospitals. We felt that this definitely didn't have to be the end result for him. We feel that whether it was um, lack of PPE, whether it was testing protocol issues, whatever it was, the fact that Vincent even make 40, just it, it kills me because I think about how much more he had left in life.